What's up guys, Jack's Lucario here playing Basement. I got this a very long time ago and I think I play I played it on my own and really enjoyed it. But I think it's had an update since then. So I thought I'd record it and explain a little couple of things. So sort of like show you the game as well. It really it really is a good game. So yeah, let's get into it. So we start off with me frantically being a complete pain. So, give me a moment. One of them. And one of them. Right. So what I've just done is I've bought another green room and another dealership because it's a pain in the ass when you have one. So if you've got two going up like going about, I'm gonna have another employee room as well. To get some more people. Actually. What's the upgrade for this? I can have one more person. Alright then, that's really fucking pointless. But yeah, start off with what I normally do is have like two of each. Like two green rooms and two dealerships. And then... This is how you hire people. And since I've got another green room, I need someone with great productivity, which is you. And then someone who can really, that can quite, can sell quite well. Which you're pretty good and your damage is quite good as well. Uh, you, because your selling is better. Sorry, Rafa, Rif, Raphael. Raphael. Weird spelling. So yeah, so now we've got two, we've got two... Growers, I think they're called. I don't know. I'm not a drug. I'm not a drug dealer in real life. I'm a boring nerd who sits, plays video games, and fucking enjoys it. Thank you very much. So yeah, and then you got two dealers at the top. So the start. It starts off slow. I'll admit it starts off slow, but it's really fun, and like you can expand the building so you can get more rooms and put more stuff in it like this one I'm gonna put another generator so I've got more electricity lying about and like some rooms you can't like some buildings you can't extend like I think that sometimes you can get two instead of just the one follow that one up as well so we get more rooms as well but it's like you've got Basically, the aim of the game is to get all the buildings on the map. As soon as you've done that, basically you've completed it. It's that simple, but it takes a while because you've got to, like, like I said, it starts off slow, but then picks up because you've got more buildings and you you can have people, like you can have like a building just for employee rooms, and you can have like a shit ton of people. And then just have them scattered across in every building. I think I'm not sure if that's the if it's the case anymore since they've updated it. But it's worth. I think it's how it goes, and that is really cool because you can you could probably like get this room. And actually, do you need power for an employer room? You don't. So you could like with this room, you could have like what one, two, three, four, five employer rooms, and you can get two each. So that's two, four, six, eight. Eight people for that building, and then you can like take them there and kick the shit out of everyone. So yeah, it it's a pretty nifty game. Really, I really love it. I really enjoy it. it. Really, really is a good game. Saying that I really like these, like I really like these type of games, like just buildy ones. But I'm useless at them. I mean, if you haven't watched me play, if you haven't watched me play Banished, find it and watch it. I last, I think, 20 minutes or so, because I suck. I haven't, I, I'm useless at them, but I really enjoy them at the same time. It's like, for me, with these games, I have to sort of get a footing. If I leave it lying about, I just suddenly fuck up a lot and then lose everything. If I know what I'm doing, like this, I, I've got a good footing. Like, my money's fine, and no one's been a complete arse yet. I haven't been raided, so I'm fi absolutely fine, so I'm going to update, upgrade this, and I'm going to upgrade this one as well, because I've got the money. So then that should make productivity a lot quicker as well. 
so then these can make more money quicker as well. Um, what do these do? Stamina increase, less stress. Uh, allows to control more junkies at a time, so we get more customers. Optimize your earnings, serve people quicker. That's helpful. Um, what other what other stuff can I get? I can get a heal room. Actually, I want to get one of them just in case. And then hollow about out. out so we've got the bot. So we've got that as well. And then I'm gonna Sorry, while I'm waiting while I'm waiting for someone. As you can see, I've like got the third level, the like stuff unlocked. Just so I've got room to play with. But like while I'm waiting for money, it's like as you can see, it's like. Some of these people have sad faces under the, underneath them, like very like sad emotions on the on the top of their head. That explain that shows about stamina, and that affects what they do. Oh, they level up as well. Oh, didn't know that. The more you know. But yeah, it's like stamina affects how well they do. So like with him, he does 2.5, 2.1 a day. So while he's Selling, by the looks of it, experience goes up, but also his stamina goes down. And once stamina gets to a certain a certain low, he'll decide he wants a rest. And if he doesn't get that rest, then it affects how how there how well he does. It sort of like it slows it it slows it down of how like, how long it'll take. And it's the same with the bit like the things, these, what they're called. The growers, I want to call them. So he does 2.3 a day, which is quite good. But his stamina goes down as well. Yeah, oh, can, I, can I actually upgrade this? Yeah, to what? Disease prevention and health improvements. Septic construction allows. Bring up fight fighters quicker. Oh, helpful. Right. So yeah, I've made another green room because I'm gonna make some more. But we need my employees. That's what we need. So I'm gonna make another employee employee room. Actually, we have got a decent amount of money. I might make some more dealers as well. Oh, I might actually upgrade these so I can get more money. Oh, fuck's sake. Get in there, you. Upgrades. Uh, serves customers quicker. And I'm out of electricity. Can't upgrade these anymore, no. Nope. So, let's have another electricity room. So then... Alright, so since we're selling green... That, wants, that does more. But why can't I do it? Start telling you need to assign the dealer to this. Can we build on the ground level? All oh, right, yeah, right, okay. Fuck. So, best bet, best bet. So, dealing rooms can only get put on the top floor. Is that the mall? Yes. Right. So. Actually, demolish that, so then I can make that into a dealer room, so then I've got three. Which is fair, really. I'm lost. There. There we go. Right, so, now I need another employer room. Upgrade this, get some more power. So yeah, so, dealing rooms can only put, be put on the top. And I would move that, but I don't know if they disappear as well. If they do, that's fucking daft. So, what I want... What I want, what I want, what I want, what I want... Is I want another building. Another building. Ooh, you got a double... A double dealing room, nice. Doesn't help me in the slightest. That's helpful, that's got a garage, but has very little things I can have. Hmm. 
Right, so we've got another dealing room, we've got one of these. Right, so... We need someone with great sellability. You've got great sellability. And your production's pretty good as well. So, where are you going? Uh, no, get over there. And you, go over there. Oh, you're yeah, the... Yeah, you're the productivity. So get over there. You, in there. In there. Sell gear. So, what, I c what I'm probably going to do now... Is... Hold this out. Make... The training room. I might do, anyway. Hmm. What do I do? There used to be um, a computer room for bodyguards and stuff, but I'm guessing it, it's all in the same thing now. Because they look like bodyguards, it just, it just looks like a dealer. So, what do I do? I could get this place, but... 13.1 damage! Jesus, these would fucking kill me. They would kill me as well. Uh, last chance. We've got a garage, which is quite helpful. Uh, that's another one that's quite helpful as well. That's a... That's... I think that's one of the biggest ones, isn't it? Probably. Hmm. Oh, so I can put them in the middle. Nice. So where was that other... Where was that one that I've seen? That was really pointless. Where was it? Yeah, I think it was that one. Was it that one? No, no. Hmm. Um... What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Quite a bit of money. So I might just make the high rooms just for now. And then get like get uh, some security guards and get myself some new buildings. Yeah! I'm coming up in the world. Right, so wait till all three three of them are done, so that's what, two, four, six. Get another six people. So you, you. Wait. Oh, how much damage do they do? Can I see them? Oh, they're lying about here. Get, get down here, out the way. So how much damage do you do? 9.5 and 8.5. So let's. Um, let's make some training rooms. Training room. So then we should you in there, and then hopefully your damage should go up. Hopefully. Do, 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 do. Takes a while. Can I make another one? Yes. That's you. We're going to go in this one. There you go. Once this one's done, you can do the same with that one. Can it be upgraded? Oh, it can. Additional training equipment and a few bottles of steroids can make anyone bull. Anyone a bull. Stamina goes down quicker. Nah. Don't want that. I want stamina to stay up as much as possible. In you go. Right. So, you're almost done. So, does it go up? No, but it makes... It levels, I guess. So that's quite helpful. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna go here first. I know it's like it's a little bit pointless. Like I said, this is how the game plays. It it starts off slow, then when you got more places, you can work stuff out. I mean, we've, in game time, we've been here 16 days. 
which isn't that bad. I think. Damage and health up. There you go. 11. That's quite good. How are you doing? You're almost there. Go on, you can do it. There you go, 11.3. So, that's actually not that bad. I mean, I could take these on. Surprisingly. But there is... Four, five of them. I don't think I want to do that, because there's only two of them. When you finish that, you can go rest. Go rest. I want you to stay and fight, just until he is finished. Then you can go back down. Go back in there. Twit. Yeah, some more rest rooms. Money's doing well, at least. Upgrades. That's... There we go. Got it as well, yeah. So, yeah, we're all fine. All fine! And then, so, there you go. Doing well! Doing well! Hmm, where should we go first? Should we go here first? Uh, yeah, let's go there first, I think. Oh, that? No, not there. That's a dumb idea. That one might be good. That one, this one. So then I can put a garage there. And then I can put a garage there. And then I can have, I think, two things there. No. Hopefully I can make, I can increase that one. How many is there? There's three of them there. <sighs> Ooh, let's go do it, let's go do it, let's go do it, let's go do it. Um No, he tells he needs to tell you what you're doing, so the training to take them there. Go! Let's see how they do. In my big riot truck. <laughs> let's have a look. Oh! Oh dear! No, that didn't go well. Killed one of them at least. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, right, I think we've got enough boys to do this. I've got another one, one, two, three, four guys. So we should have enough to do this. Hopefully. Right, so. We're all gonna go upstairs, they're gonna leave, they're gonna get their big fuck off van, and they're gonna drive all the way over here. Take on these piggy fucks. And he's gonna die. Hey. Oh, I wanted him to live! Right. Now we have this place, and for some strange reason it's not lit, there we go. Right, so we want this into a garage, and then we want this to be, I've got tons of money so I'll get that to that, let's just follow this out. So. Definitely need a restroom. So let's move on to some serious stuff. Start producing. You need to assign a worker to this room. Make sure you have a dealer somewhere to sell it. So let's have one of them. What's your stuff anyway? Very, very useless. Um, what about you? You're fucking as bad. Uh, can I fuck it, fire them. This place is mine anyway. Alright, so. Pay 
some new people. With decent productivity. You. So. You're not doing anything, are you? No, you're gonna go straight there. So. No. Move. It's training. You. Move here. So, he is gonna go and make some acid. Shit's starting to get real now. Oh, yeah. So now that you're in there, go in there and make some acid. Right, so. The thing is, with every building, we need a storage, or else we can't send it. So if we get. If we just give. If we just let him do that, he'll slowly level. And his productivity will get better, and we'll have hopefully, a, oh, fuck off. hopefully, a full shelf. Like that's starting to get full now. We don't have a garage here, which I don't want to really build there. Uh, we want some more money. So, how's your damage? Your damage is good, so I'm gonna get you. Because I think the next place is going to be this. No, this one. This one, this one, this one. Because hopefully I can go down. Hopefully, hire more people. No, wait another couple more seconds. So, yeah, basically, the game of the game is sort of like. Build your way up, so like make green and then make acid and then make the next one and then make the next one and make a shit ton of money. So yeah, it would like basically just go up the ch just go up the chamber. Ah yeah, so he's right. Green, acid, brown, and speed. Oh, okay. Not very knowledgeable knowledgeable on drugs. How are you doing? You're a beast. So, can I hire more people? Yet, no. But yeah, the biggies are going to be a bit more of a pain in the arse. It's so probably at the end of it, this is just going to be full of uh, employee rooms. Which is what I, end I usually end up doing. It's usually like a, like a building that's just full of employee rooms, just so I've got a shit ton of people. And then I just bombard buildings with them. One of them. 